At the core of this idea of saving everything is that in order to save the planet, you have to save all the species that make up the planet, from the biggest bison down to the smallest prairie dog, and including predators like the endangered gray wolf. A personal dream of Ted's was that they find their way to his Flying D ranch in Montana on their own. It was just a matter of time before gray wolves found the Flying D. It is superb habitat managed against a deep uh, land ethic that celebrates uh, ecological relationships, celebrates wildness. So once they found the D, they were, my Lord, in heaven. I was with Ted and he gets a call from Mike Phillips and Mike says, Ted, I've got good news for you. Wolves have been seen on the flying D. Ted was giddy, almost childlike. Gray wolves have been on this ranch ever since. It is typically one of the largest packs in North America. In September of 2018, the biggest count was 26 wolves. Oh yeah, 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 look at that. Species don't have to go extinct. We could rise up in their defense. We could say no more, no more species will disappear on our watch. We've got bison, elk, mule deer, white-tailed deer, uh, antelope. Today, spread across the Flying D's 113,000 acres. Wolves, grizzly bears, black bears, mountain lions, bobcats, coyotes, fox. You'll find more species than ranch manager Danny Johnson can even list. And then we move on to the birds. We've got golden eagles, bald eagles, ospreys. Ted would soon become the largest private landowner in the United States. In the name of conservation, not status. Mm -hmm. 